Coming up, two rookies battle it out for the Men's World Championship. Chinese Taipei go looking for a world title in the women's team final. And it's USA versus Russia in the women's gold medal match. Welcome to Hurtingham Bosch, a beautiful Dutch city that's the focus of the archery world as top archers from nearly 90 countries gather to battle for the sport's most prestigious title. The historic St. Jan's Cathedral is the backdrop for this, the finals of the 2019 Hyundai World Archery Championships. On Compound Saturday, we begin with the men's individual gold medal match and it's an unexpected duo who made the final. Youngsters James Lutz from the USA and Norway's Anders Faugstad are aged just 21 and 19 respectively. So this for the gold medal. Lutz on target two to get us underway. You got this. Yeah, right, right under the, right under the Perfect. He's super confident and that's why. Falkstadt needs to start really well. Yep. Oh, and he does. Just like the first. Stay in the shot, let it happen. Answers with a nine as well. Let it float. Take it when it's there. Yeah, good. <laughs> okay, you're just bottom of the X. I give it a quick count. 29 out of a possible 30. Yo. And he's looking very solid, Anders Fogstuck. Well, two tenths from each archer. That was a brilliant first arrow from Lutz, but uh, matched almost by Falkstadt. They both shot nines in their second, but then followed them up with these two tens. Nice and strong, man. Start of the second end, all square in this gold medal match. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, that is beautiful indeed. Yes. Lower it actually hit your knock. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, I guess it's good at home. Well, Guillotine just saying that uh, he had his own first arrow there, Lutz, with his second. All right, plus one. Nine. Let's go, Jim. Settle in. Send it when it's there. Beautiful. Three X's. <laughs> Amazing group in the X for Lutz. They're not actually spin wings, but they do have a curve to them, which I, I don't see as often in compound archeries. Look at these arrows here. Just one dropping into the nine. Hit that one hard. And look how close this very, <laughs> look, 0 0.04 centimeters from the middle.
trailing by one. And as Falstart gets X. the third end underway with an X. Nice work, man. Settle in. Beautiful. Top of the X. <laughs> oh. Nine. There was just a little bit of a hesitation at the end. Put it in the middle on this one. Let's go. Send it when it's there. Take your time, no wind here. Yeah, good. Braden just telling him to shoot the shot once the scope is centered on the middle of the target. Yep. Now, <laughs> right, Jimmy, one more, man. You got it, bud. Yeah, good. Oh, look at that. A perfect score. Again for James Lutz, he has found the middle of the target and Anders Falkstad of Norway trailing now by two points. Well Lutz got a perfect score in the second and repeats it in the third, that first arrow going into the X ring. And he does just look so composed, he's, super, he's a super confident young man. What can Faugstadt do here in Sir Bosch? Starts the fourth end with a 10. Take it when it's there. Yeah, good. <laughs> hey, Jim, let's give it one click right. Telling him to move his sight just a bit. <sighs> what I saw was Anders' thumb is just not applying consistent pressure to his trigger and it looks like he's just struggling a little bit. Let the shot happen. Just well, happen. the first nine. All right, you're good. Sorry, the second nine from Lutz, the first in three ends. Nine. Just over adjusting perhaps there from Falkstadt. He's going to get a very good look at the full Seven draw minutes. from James Lutz. Make it when it's there. Dormy Ferda. Look at that. Straight back in to the middle of the target. And a 29 is enough to extend his lead by another point. James Lutz, three ahead, going into the fifth and final end of this gold medal match. Very little communication between Morton Bow and that man there going up for Norway's first World Championship gold medal since 2005. Anders Falkstadt trailing by three, shoots first in the final end of the men's compound individual gold medal match. He puts it into the 10. A good start. And a little bit of a sigh of relief by the looks of things. Back over to James Lutz. Strong shot, man. Yeah, beautiful. And, oh, that has gone right into the center. There's a lot of arrows out to the top left for Anders. Yeah, buddy, good 10 and 12. Well, finishes well with a 29 out of 30. Here's a fourth one of the match, but Lutz needs a seven to become world champion. Bang, 10. And that's straight into the 10. It's an impressive performance from an impressive young man. James Lutz is the 2019 Hyundai Archery World Champion.
Yeah, I mean, I dropped a couple points I really didn't want to, but um, I'm, I'm comfortable shooting my bow, and I mean, there's a lot of people out there, but I just try to tune that out and focus on one arrow at a time. I'm still trying to let it set in, but I've worked hard for it, and I'm really happy about it. I'm proud of the way I got to the gold medal match. Uh, it was hard, and I, uh, I shot the best I could, and uh, sometimes the best is not enough, and I have to go home and train even harder to get, uh, get the gold next time. The women's team final saw the USA up against Chinese Taipei. The USA were three time previous winners of this event, while Chinese Taipei has only had one previous world champion at this tournament before. The USA started consistently in end one, scoring a 57. One of the Chinese Taipei arrows went to a measure, and when it was confirmed as a nine, they ended up a point behind. It was the same story in N2. Chinese Taipei shooting a 56 and the USA edged further ahead for a yep. two point yeah, advantage job. at the halfway stage. N3 was where the match turned on its head. Chinese Taipei started with three tens and it looked like the pressure got to the USA. And the youngest member of the team puts it low and into the eight. After trailing by two points, Chinese Taipei finished the end, leading the match. Chinese Taipei had really dialed into the center by N4. The USA couldn't respond, and it was Chinese Taipei who comfortably claimed their second world championship crown. And another 10, and a cracking finish from Chinese Taipei. Korea and Turkey battled it out in the men's team final. A high quality contest that just got better and better as it went on. Neither country had ever medalled in the compound men's team event at the World Championships. Korea were ranked sixth in the world ahead of this event, Turkey were number seven. After starting with nines, Korea grew stronger as the first end wore on. Turkey weren't shooting badly, but they couldn't match their opponents. Turkey managed to claw back the one-point deficit and level the match at the halfway point. From that point onwards, Korea simply stepped things up. Not only a perfect 60 in N3, but six Xs. Remarkably, Turkey looked like they were going to match them. Oh, he's dropped it into the nine. It's a 59 out of 60 for Turkey, which is pretty good. But Korea got a 60, and they've opened up a one-point lead as we head into the final end. Turkey did all they could in the final end, and it was a case of deja vu. It's another 59. That's back-to-back -back 59s for Turkey. In a stunning show of high precision archery, Korea followed up one perfect 60 with another to clinch the world title. Unbelievable stuff from Korea. A perfect 60 in the third end and a perfect 60 to finish the gold medal match. They are the 2019 world champions. Still to come, Korea chasing glory in the mixed team final and the women's gold medal match featuring two champions from other archery disciplines. Korea made it through to the compound mixed team final for the third world championships in a row. Kim Jong-ho was partnered by So Che Won and they were facing a French team of PJ Deloche and Sophie Dodemont. It was a perfect start from a Korean pair chasing more glory. France were already three points down after the first end. Exemplary scoring from both teams in N2. France were trying their hardest to get back into the contest, but Korea were matching anything they could do. The Korean march to gold was showing no signs of slowing down in N3. Incredibly, they posted another perfect 40. This is absolutely phenomenal. It was their unlucky 13th arrow that Korea finally dropped a point. France finished with a perfectly respectable score of 153, but after only dropping one point in the entire match, the Koreans were crowned mixed team world champions. 
In the women's individual gold medal match, it was USA versus Russia as Paige Pierce took on world number 33, Natalia Avdieva. Pierce was already the reigning champion in the discipline of field archery, Avdieva already the indoor archery world champion. This for the gold in the compound women's individual and it's Natalia Avdieva to get us underway. Nice strong shot, Pace. You got it here. Nine at ten o'clock, this high left. Long hold from Paige Pierce. She made a little adjustment to her bow there, but uh, I think it was uh, just adjusting her sight. Well, 28. And Paige Pierce's second arrow will go to a measure. Oh, and she shoots another nine. So. Provisionally on 27, but we will go to a measure. There is confirmation of three nines from Paige Pierce. She looks very comfortable still, doesn't she? She was chatting with the coach and looked very relaxed. She's not, she's not letting uh, an early uh, drop point against her opponent let her down, get her down, I should say. No, her, her coach is Mel Nichols and he has a lot of experience with compound archery. I think he, he just knows what to say to help her calm down. And I think she's um, responding to it well. Second end of the gold medal match here. Paige Pierce to get us underway. <laughs> nine, nine eight line at six o'clock. Yeah. Good move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it. Nice in the middle. Nice strong shot. Thank you. Nice. Oh. Shaft out at eight o'clock still. Low left. I want you to look at Avdieva's anchor point here. It's mm -hmm. so okay. quite a bit further here. back than what you see with Paige. There you go. <laughs> but that well, that's up into the, the 10. But Avdieva can get to 29 here and extend her lead by another point. She wasn't happy with that one, just moves it over to the left a little bit, and it's 2.28, so the Russian's still leading by one point after two ends. Still looking very calm, just taking on her final few instructions from her coach. Pierce, only trailing by a single point. Nice strong we'll shot here, Paige. Start it off right, right in the middle. Third end. There it is, X. Good job. Uh, she's found at the middle of the target. Just under the spider. Good shot. There you go. Another one, just like the first one. На девять там же. Interesting yep, to see right that there. both of them are shooting oh, with an index yeah, finger yeah. trigger release, which we don't see as much at this high level. Yeah, Karen, we typically see more elite archers using thumb trigger or back tension release aids, but with a finger trigger, you can control when it's going to go off. Yep, right well, there. 
Paige Pierce has taken a bit more control here. A perfect 30 from her. Puts her on 85. Yes. And a 10 was required from Avdieva to level up with her. So we're all square after three ends here. And perhaps the momentum has shifted a little bit over to the American side of the target. And if you want to look here. <laughs> you're not going out, you're not going well, high, so. here we go yeah. for a comparison yeah. of those arrows. And you can see the grouping's not too bad from the Russian, but this grouping down at the bottom, the yellow one, is incredible. It's tiny. It's probably the size of a donut hole. She's shooting really well, and her shots look very strong. Well, as we're all square, we switch back to Natalia Avdieva to go first. The fourth end of this gold medal match. I hope she gives a couple clicks on her site because it's all left. Nine. Well, both starting with nines, so still nothing between them. We start to build up towards the climax of this match. Same spot, <gasps> but that's a tweener at two, both on high right. Oh, she didn't look happy with that one, but she's pulled off a 10. So a 29, she'll have the lead. Anything less than a 10, and it will be more than one point. There you go, yep. X. Good and job. that's back in the middle. She knew it right away. You could see that she was happy with that shot. She was confident. That's exactly what she needed. She needs, she's, she's only one point behind with uh, three arrows to go, and we'll see what she does. Well, she, she's obviously happy to be there, they got good on her, but she's so relaxed. We're going in to the final three arrows for each of these archers, unless the scores are levelled. And she looks very relaxed. Paige Pierce also looking relaxed. Nice, strong shot. The American will shoot first, the final end of the compound women's gold medal match. Yep, X. Yeah. On top of X. Close Again, she knew it was going in the middle. Well, an opportunity has presented itself to Pierce of the USA. Oh. She's just dropped that one low. So, can Avdieva draw a level? Oh, sorry, to take the lead with a 10. She gets a nine. We are all square and down to one arrow each. Pierce will shoot first. Oh, that one has been measured as a nine. So a 10 to win this for the Russian. Yes! Oh, she's taken the world championship title here. She needed a 10. Well, say that, the scores, no, there we have confirmation. Natalia Avdieva has taken the gold medal here and is the world champion. I think she's having a hard time breathing. She can't believe it. If you need a 10 to win the gold medal at the world championships, I don't know what's more pressure than that. Look at that face. She can't believe what she's just done. Wow! She is just looking on for confirmation. There it is. She looks up to the skies. She cannot believe that she has taken the World Championship title here in Sir Bosch in the Netherlands.
a warm hug of congratulations from her opponent in that final, Paige Pierce. And Natalia Avdieva is the 2019 world champion. It's a fantastic. I'm going to this medal uh, 20 years, and it's uh, so important uh, for me, for my family, and for Russian Federation. What a day we've had at the 2019 Hyundai World Archery Championships. We've seen Korea extend its dominance over the mixed team competition and put on an incredible display in the men's team event. Chinese Taipei collected its second world title 20 years after the first. James Lutz won the world championships at only his second individual event and Natalia Avdieva added a somewhat unexpected outdoor championship title to her growing resume.